This community update was brought to you by Uradio. Essential safety resources like first aid and CPR training are often out of reach for Winnipeg's newcomer communities due to financial, linguistic, and cultural barriers. Without affordable, accessible training, many families remain unprepared for emergencies at home. Healthy Muslim Families, a local community organization, has been working to close this gap. According to Executive Director Humara Jalil, first aid training is often tied to job requirements, leaving many without the skills unless mandated by work. Then a lot of people don't access them. They don't access them until they are they need them because for their work, right? So either their work is providing that service or if it is a requirement to find a job, then they do. But other than that, they don't. And we know that this is something that puts their family in danger. Cost is another major hurdle, as families may view training as a luxury rather than a necessity. Programs like the Canadian Red Cross's Smart Start Injury Prevention Program aim to change this narrative by offering free or low-cost community-focused training sessions, explains Sean Perlow, the program's injury prevention coordinator. So for first aid, it's available in English and French. We do also have a Red Cross first aid app, which has a bunch of different uh, like videos and different uh, games and activities and things that people people can, can play to learn all about first aid. And then we here in Manitoba have another program called the Smart Start Program, where we partner with newcomer groups and we provide some entry-level information on how to be safe. These programs partner with local groups like HMF to bring training directly to neighborhoods, making it both accessible and culturally relevant. Smart Start addresses practical needs, such as treating common household injuries and navigating Canada's emergency services. Many newcomers, for instance, are unaware that 911 dispatchers can access interpreters to assist in various languages. It's presented in an easy-to-follow format, so here we can get police or we can get paramedics, we can get the fire department all by calling just one number. These professionals are here to help us. That's that's their role. So we spend a lot of time encouraging people to phone if they do need help. These are our professionals. That's their job to come and help us. Hands-on sessions cover skills like CPR, bandaging, and controlling bleeding, giving participants the confidence to act during emergencies. The more um, access we have, better, right? So if we have this program that is provided to the community where they can come and just deliver it in the community, that would be awesome. As Winnipeg's newcomer population grows, advocates stress the importance of inclusive safety training. By expanding programs like Smart Start and removing cost and language barriers, families can gain vital skills to protect their loved ones, fostering safer, more prepared communities. You're listening to U Radio, where diverse voices connect. Stay tuned for more stories and insights that matter. With you, Multicultural and the Local Journalism Initiative, I'm Ryan Funk.